In this video, we'll balance the equation for aluminum oxide plus carbon. That's giving us this aluminum carbide and carbon monoxide. So this is one way that you can make this aluminum carbide, although it does produce carbon dioxide, which isn't really a desirable thing. So to balance the equation, it's a little bit of a challenging equation. We'll do a few things. Let's first count the atoms up. We have two aluminum, three oxygen, one carbon. Product side, four aluminum, one oxygen and three carbons, but be careful because there's a carbon right here. So we have four carbons. Since we have a carbon by itself, that should make it easier to balance the carbons when we're towards the end. So let's leave this till last. Let's just start by balancing the aluminums. If we put a two in front of the Al2O3, two times two, that'll give us four. The aluminum atoms are balanced. And then we have this three times the two, That'll give us six oxygens. Looks like we need to put a six over here to balance the oxygen. So now we have the one times the six. That'll give us six oxygens. And then we need to update the carbons here. So now we have the three carbons plus the six times the one, the six carbons. So now we have nine carbons. But like we said, we've left this until last. So now we just put a nine here. It doesn't change anything except the carbon. One times nine. That'll give us nine. We're done. This equation is balanced. So when you have an atom by itself, like the carbon here, you usually want to leave that until last. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for Al2O3 plus C. Thanks for watching.